guys. I woke up today thinking, I feel like I know a lot of people who, and, and, I mean, including myself, have something that they want to do that they're passionate about, almost like a side hustle or just anything in general that they want to do. But they don't do it because the things, the, the responsibilities of their lives take up the majority of their time, or at least they think that it does. When in reality, I really do think that you have time to do some of the things that you want to be doing if you just put forth the effort. Just do one small aspect of that thing you're trying to do every day, or even at least like once a week. I'm talking even like the most minuscule amounts of time that you can devote to whatever it is that you wanna do. It will be worth it over the subsequent month, two month, three month, year, as you start to see a little bit of progress. If you wanna start streaming, if you wanna start a YouTube channel, if you have a side business you wanna do, if you wanna do Amazon FBA, really anything, just start it. Anyways, I'm here at the gym right now. I'm gonna go get a quick workout in. And then I kinda wanna talk about this second product that I mentioned a couple times. It's the second product that I ever launched on Amazon FBA that I saw a lot of success from. And I wanna talk about why I think that it is that I saw some success from it. But first, I gotta go get this workout done. Okay, here we are back in the studio. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I've mentioned that my second product that I launched actually did really, really well and I'm still currently selling to this day. I'll throw up the screenshot here so you can see it, but in the first month of this product actually launching, I did like $6,000 in that first month. I wasn't sure exactly what a successful product looked like at the time, but this felt really, really good to see that many sales and that much money come in from this one product only on my second attempt. Since then, I haven't had a successful product every launch after that. And I haven't had another product that's been that successful, at least right off the bat. But as I've mentioned before, that did teach me a lot about what creates a successful product launch and what I need to do for my future products to hopefully try to recreate that same success. The first piece of advice that I have for that is to pick a good niche. Of course, you need your analytic tools. Of course, you need to be able to understand competition in the market. You need to understand how you can differentiate that product. And then you need to focus on one specific thing at least one thing that you can improve upon with that product that is in demand by the market. Read through the negative reviews, look at all the comments of your competitors and see what people are saying they wish this product had. For me, it was fairly easy with this product because I saw that the big players in the market were doing very well monthly, but their products looked super cheap and it wasn't that complicated to just make a higher quality looking product. So that's just what I did. I added a couple improvements that I thought would make the product a lot better and just made it look a lot more high quality. Here's a piece of advice that not a lot of people will mention, but I do believe actually helped me a little bit in this space was the fact that I'm actually passionate about this niche. Now, I'm not saying that you have to be 100% passionate about every product that you launch, but I think what gave me the slight competitive edge to this product was the fact that I was that demographic. I'm in that market. I know what I would want out of that product if I was going to purchase it. So even if you're not that exact perfect demographic of the product that you're trying to launch, talk to people who are the demographic and see what they would want out of the product. What would make them purchase yours over any other one that they scroll by on Amazon. This niche is also on a fairly big trend right now. I'm not talking about these like viral little fidget spinner products. This is a trend that has come over the last couple years and looks to remain in place at least for the next couple years, the foreseeable future. So I knew that it was on an upward trend and it was kind of forecasted to stay trending upwards. Another thing that I'll mention for this product is that it Although it wasn't intended to be this way, it turned out to be a very giftable product. And I think that does help with the sales a little bit, but I wouldn't call that a crucial thing by any means. So I mentioned it was giftable, I mentioned that it was trendy or at least trending upwards. And I mentioned that it was well made and that I differentiated some aspects of it that set it apart from the competition. But here's the number one thing that I'm going to tell you that I fully believe made that second product really take off. And it was the branding. No other competitor on the market on Amazon at the time of my launch and I still think even now, has branded that product as well as I have. When people scroll through on Amazon and they're seeing these generic products and they look cheap and they look like they're just inexpensive and kind of, it looks like something you'd get at the dollar store. And then they come across my product that's high quality, made of high quality materials, has high quality branding, high quality images, which is so key. I've got really good product photos. I've got really good lifestyle photos. I've got really good infographics showing the use cases of the product. These are the type of things that set this product apart and set all products apart on Amazon. I'm that same person. If I'm scrolling through looking for a product, I'm going to pick the one that looks the most legitimate. 
And I'm telling you right now, that's how you get your product to look legitimate. And not even to just look legitimate, to be legitimate. Because when they order that product, they're gonna see that it's higher quality. They're going to be happy with it. And in some cases, they're actually gonna leave you a review. So I just wanted to leave you with this little bit of information. As you go to launch your future products, really focus on the branding, really focus on making a high quality product. And at that point, your pricing starts to really matter less and less. Because whether you know it or not, people are willing to pay a premium for a high quality product that is branded well. So put that extra effort forward in creating a really good brand based around your product, make the product as high quality as possible, launch it, and I fully believe that you will see success come from it. Just to give you some actionable steps here, let's go ahead and look at one of the products that I've tried to launch in the past and actually failed in doing so. And I'll explain to you why this one I believe did fail and also give you some examples as to why I believe the second product was a success. And this one that I actually launched afterwards was not so much of a success. So here it is. These are the leaf blankets. I did try selling this product. One of the main issues, if not probably the most main issue was quality of this product. I knew the analytics were good. I knew that there was demand for this product. I knew that competition was in the sweet spot where I could handle it, but I rushed it. I just wanted to get this product to market. I was afraid that somebody else was gonna come in and kind of beat me out of the competition. And so I differentiated it. I made it like a, a palm leaf instead of like these other leaves that you're seeing, but the quality was just not there. And I thought, you know what? I'll, I'll get good photos. I'll, I'll put it out there. I'll do the best I can with the launch and I'll at least see sales come from it. Holy cow, this product bombed so much so that I'm in the process of a re giant removal order on it. It's all coming back to my house. I'm gonna have to find some place to just give them away or throw them away. And I'm gonna be taking a loss on it, unfortunately but you better believe that I will never make that mistake again. It's all about the lessons that you can learn from it, guys. That's really all that matters. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.